Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Chris Evans. And welcome to Entertainment 30. I'm your host, Kenny Johnson. Hello and welcome to Entertainment 30, the show where we break down all the hottest entertainment news in just 30 minutes. I'm your host, Kenny Johnson, and joining me on our panel today is... Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm Madison. And I'm Jacob Sersosimo. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys, we have some big news. A big music video was just released and um, it parodies teen drama films. So what's your favorite teen drama movie? I know for sure I'm a big Dirty Dancing guy. I don't know, I always cry at the end, because <laughs> it's so good. As far as like teenage drama goes, like I don't know so much about like movies, but as far as TV show goes, Pretty Little Liars. That oh. was what I loved in yes. high school. I was I almost cried when they <laughs> stopped making the show. It was very I gotta, sad. I gotta go with a teen comedy, She's the Man. That oh, was yes. Hands down my favorite. It's an iconic film. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about rom-coms here? Well, teen dramas, so like Mean Girls or like... All right, well... Or like Sixteen Candles. Does uh, Friends with Benefits you go under that? Who, wait, They're who's in that? Though. It's, yeah, it's M M Mila Kunis, Mila Kunis. And, and Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. They're probably like Romantic 21. Yeah. 21. You know, yeah. I'm 22. I'm still wait, a teenager. Wait, no, it's Ashton Kutcher, not Justin Timberlake. No, that's no strings attached. Oh, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> you're getting them mixed up. They're I both am. phenomenal. Well, you guys, <laughs> let's get into our top topics in our segment top two. The highly anticipated Thank You Next musical. Music video was released last Friday and Ariana Grande did not disappoint at all. I mean, just look at this. That's Ariana Grande as Regina George, but the movie references don't stop there. You've got Mean Girls Ari, Bring It On Ari, 13 Going On 30 Ari, and Legally Blonde Ari. We do not deserve this. Not to mention all the cameos that are in this video, like their Kris Jenner right there, Jonathan Bennett reprising Aaron Samuels and Jennifer Coolidge reprising Paulette from Legally Blonde. The music video has also broken the record for most views in the first 24 hours of release on YouTube, surpassing record holders BTS, Taylor Swift. You guys, what are your thoughts on this groundbreaking, amazing music video? We'll start with you, Kirsten. What did you think? So I'm just gonna say I had my reservations at first because I'm not a huge Ariana Grande fan, even though she has grown on me a lot mm -hmm. recently. But when I saw this, I loved it. I thought it was genius. It's not really yes. something that you would have really thought of for a music video, but I think Kris Jenner definitely found her yes. life purpose in this music video for one thing. And then on another note too, I really loved when she was just laying on the bed as Regina George and she had her book of exes like resembling the burn book. Yeah. And I mean, it had Pete with a heart next to it, but people then took to Twitter and they're like, well, where's Mac Miller? And she's like, well, if you paid attention to the video, I have a picture of him framed next to my bedside. So mm -hmm. I thought that was super cool how mm -hmm. she kind of remembered him and honored him in that way. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, so how I kind of took this music video was each transition to the different movies resembled a different X. Yes. So that's my take on it. I thought oh, it was okay. really interesting. So each movie was, was an a X? different X. That's how I took it because wait, wait. she mentions four people. So in explain the song. this theory to me. Who is Mean Girls? Well I don't, oh, I don't didn't know. pick, but I'm just assuming that since she mentioned four X's in the song that the four that could be it. movies mm. represent that. Yeah. I mean, you <laughs> could, you could go that way with it. To be honest, I really was disappointed. I didn't like it at all. Really? I hated the music video because the whole point of the song I thought was appreciating her exes and also like a big tribute to Mac Miller because it came out after Mac Miller. So I thought it was going to be like a big tribute video and a music video and the song really meant a whole lot. The thing was like a cartoon to me, the music video. I was like, this is dumb. Like I thought, I thought you were going to appreciate your exes more. It was just kind of like, oh, when I dated these people, it was just kind of like a high school thing and nothing mattered, even though I was engaged to one. And one was Mac Miller, who I still love and all that. So 
I just don't really think it made sense at all. I the whole time I think I left halfway through. I was like, this is dumb. I can't watch oh this. My God. I hated it. I told you right after I watched it too. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna roast this music I video. I was gonna be the cynical one on the show. Oh my today. No, I, guess I, the time I didn't. Was I there. didn't like it. I thought it was dumb. You didn't gasp when Chris Jenner came out. And you I, have I, to no. admit you loved that part. No, I thought that it. I thought that was a publicity stunt, kind of like Kendall Jenner in the song Freaky Friday. No, she just didn't belong. If you look, if you look at the I past of Chris Jenner and stuff that she has done, yeah. like. Like cheering on girls like Kendall Jenner walking in the Victoria's Secret fashion show with the camera, like yeah. you're doing amazing, sweetie. I, yes, like all Kristen. of that. Like she is fulfilling her purpose in life. Yes, like, I think she was amazing. I think she was a great addition to I the I think video. she was greatly cast as like Mrs. So George. I think that was a great. People have been yeah. going wild about. Well, the Kardashians it. are just a big publicity stunt. So, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. so that's <laughs> this is the same thing as in Freaky Friday. Well, I think it was produced a little bit better. I don't know about you guys, but now we have to move on to another breakup. Cardi B uh, recently welcomed her daughter Culture into the world with her Migos member husband Offset. The two seemed happy as ever and are known to be super silly together, but Cardi took to Instagram last night to share the news that they had separated. She expressed that, uh, that they, quote, fell out of love but she will always have love for him since he is her daughter's father. So you guys, do you like it like that? That they split or not? I'm not a big fan that they split. I don't know why, and they haven't been along for a, like together for a while. I don't know about you, Madison, but this is kind of sad news, I know, but I think it's cool that they um, that she recognized and him and said that she still had feelings for him too. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Cardi B, to be honest. I mean, I do like her music, but her as a person, I can't stand her, to yeah. be honest. She drives me absolutely nuts. She's a, I think she's a crazy person, and I'm <laughs> honestly not surprised they broke up. They rushed into it. They yeah. got married really fast. They had a kid. Yeah. Obviously didn't need to have a kid. It was an accidental mm -hmm. pregnancy, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm indifferent about it. I think it was bound to happen. Having a relationship in pop culture is also um, is one of the hardest things to do, I believe. Um, and we know that being pop culture enthusiasts. Um, I, I th I th it's, it's going to happen. She lives in New York. He lives in yeah. Atlanta. He, he's, he's in a rap group. He's in a, he's in a rap group. He travels the world. She's mm -hmm. successful herself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's a problem there. Yeah. I just think they were like, we are just not going to work course. out here. Mm -hmm. And Kristen, this is just so sad, isn't it? <laughs> or are you on the opposite? So I'm kind of questioning why I'm on this show right now because <laughs> I didn't know that they were married. I just thought they were dating. Oh, really? <laughs> like, oh, that's funny. Regardless, like, yeah. I'm really caught off guard by this news that they broke yeah. up. <laughs> like, yeah. just because, I don't know, on Instagram, social media, yeah. Snapchat, and everything. And cheating, too. I also didn't know that they were cheating. Well, there was, there cheating, was cheating rumors. There was cheating I didn't rumors. know about that, but they just seemed so into each yes. other and that they were mm -hmm. just in it together they and that there's still a lot of love, mm -hmm. like romantically. So mm -hmm. I thought they were doing mm -hmm. fine, but I guess not. Mm -hmm. Well, when we come back from the break, we're going to be taking a look at a new Marvel superhero trailer. Don't go anywhere. Friday, get hyped for Huskies hockey as the women and men both take the ice in a two-day showcase of St. Cloud State hockey. It all starts Friday at 3 on Fox Sports North Plus and continues Saturday on Fox Sports North. Marvel's first female-led superhero flick is back in a second trailer that was released Monday. Captain Marvel is the 21st movie in Marvel Studios' long lineage of movies, and this trailer we got a bit closer look at the superhero movie set in the 90s. The main takeaway from the second trailer is the origins of Brie Larson's character Carol Danvers. From the trailer, we learn that Danvers was turned into a Kree warrior, allowing her to live longer and it, what gave her her powers. And the second trailer is filled with action and will be released um, at the end of March next year. OC, you got your first look at 
Captain Marvel for you? I know I've mm-hmm. seen the first trailer for sure. Yeah. But what do you think? What are your thoughts on the superhero flick? I'm super excited. Um, this movie is going to be outstanding. It seems like one of those movies you get your popcorn, you get your pop, you yes. sit in the theater, maybe you lay back if you're in a nice one, and all of a sudden the walls start shaking, bombs <laughs> start going, people start falling, <laughs> things start breaking. I'm super excited about this movie, and I cannot wait to go see it in theaters. Nice. All right, you guys, I know you're not as the biggest superhero fans, but what are your thoughts? Well, the way Jacob just made it sound, it makes me sound like I want to pre-order my ticket months in advance. Yeah. So that's what it's You should. Gonna be. It's going to be like, popping in the theater, it literally. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. But no, I think, you know, I like I said, I'm not into a ton of superhero mm-hmm. movies, but I think this is really cool because there's not very many Marvel movies that you see where there's a female-led character. Yes, so, this is their first one. Yeah, exactly. So going off of that, I'd just love to see how females are getting more credit just kind of within society and roles mm-hmm. that they had never had before. So I think that alone, that kind of makes me more interested in wanting to go mm-hmm. see it. And Madison, this will be Marvel Studios' 21st movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back Can you imagine? Uh, Madison's draw interested. You draw the line <laughs> at 21. Li- I don't like those movies, and I don't understand why there has to be <laughs> so many. I understand that they're common, comic books, yeah. but... I don't understand how they're all connected. There's so many different storylines. Characters can die, but then they come back. I don't. I don't do those. Well, movies. Madison, you'll have to sit down with me, and we'll watch all 20. You're in for a treat now. We'll catch you up on all the MCU <laughs> news for sure. Well, Great. now let's move on to the Oscars. Kevin Hart was announced to become the host of the Oscars award show on Tuesday. In the announcement, Hart said, "Quote: For years, I have been asked if I would." ever host the Oscars and my answer was always the same. I said that it would be an opportunity of a lifetime for me as a comedian and that it would happen when it's supposed to." End quote. Kevin Hart is set to host the 91st Oscars. 91? 21? Do you draw the line at 91 or do you keep watching the Absolutely Oscars? Absolutely not. I am an Oscars freak. Oh. I live for award shows. <laughs> I will I watch every single one. I'm excited that Kevin Hart's hosting. I think he's going to be very entertaining and do a great job. Is Leonardo up for anything this year? I don't know. I don't. He think has not been in a film in a while, but he will be featured in a film about the Manson family. So, oh. do you think Leonardo will ever win another Oscar? I do. <laughs> do you no think course. it'll be anytime soon? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he got okay. burned out after the Revenant. I don't no, know. he didn't. Yeah. He Maybe did he was fine. one and done. He's still driving. Kevin Hart. We're talking about Kevin Hart. <laughs> yes. Kevin Hart's. A, Unbelievable. He makes everyone laugh. Even if something's not funny, he says it in a funny way. He's going to be great on the 91st Oscars. Oscars. Everyone's going to have fun. Everyone's going to watch it. It's going to be outstanding. I can't wait. <laughs> Kevin Hart, you ever seen this thing on YouTube called Cold as Balls? That's what his YouTube no. thing's called. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I have not seen that, but I'm going to cut you off because I want to hear myself talk about this topic a little bit. What's new? <laughs> All right, go ahead. I kind of like this. I think Kevin Hart's going to bring life to an event that sometimes yeah. gets a little dull and dry. So I think he's going to add a little bit more humor. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe he'll bring a lot of unique things. I don't know. I'm a Kevin Hart fan. I'm for it. <laughs> Zach Efron has posted a picture of himself in a new role, but don't get too hot and bothered because Zach is playing a serial killer. In the movie Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile, Zach Efron will be playing Ted Bundy, a serial killer who confessed to killing 30 people. Ted Bundy was also to be known to be ruled out as a suspect because of his charming demeanor. Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile is set to be released in January. Madison, are you a big Zac Efron fan? I am so excited for this film. I've done a lot of research on this film already, and I was watching interviews with the director, and he said that he specifically handpicked Zac Efron for this role. He is charming. He fits the demeanor of Ted Bundy, as bad as that sounds. (laughs) So he was ready to see him because he's played kind of more dramatic roles before. Yes. And he's very excited. Mm. And Zach has been promoting this film for actually the last six months. If you go back to previous Instagram posts, you can kind of see him as Ted Bundy. And I think he's going to do a fantastic job. And it's already been nominated for the Sundance Film Festival. Yes, it has. It's 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 going to be a good movie. Yeah, Jacob, it's definitely... Oh, sorry. (laughs) You have to get your okay. Zac Efron out. There are two things that women love. <laughs> yes. Zac Efron yes. and bad boys. And you get both here in this one. I love Zac Efron. And as a 14-year-old, former 14-year-old girl, I used <laughs> to buy J14 <laughs> magazines just to rip out the full-page photo yes. of Zac Efron <laughs> to shape up on my wall. It yes. just 
stare at him before I went to bed, as creepy as that sounds. But no, Zach can do it all. He has played the dramatic roles, like Madison said, the more comedic mm -hmm. roles, and now he's taking on a darker, more serious, and mm -hmm. he's just hot. I'm now let's I'm toss it to Jacob. Jacob. Well, I was going to say something, but then Kirsten said <laughs> she was 14. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. Zach Efron's great. His hair looks great in his Instagram posts. He's ripped. Um, he's going to be outstanding in this movie. It's going to be amazing, and I, I can't wait to see it. All right. Well, when we get back from break, find out which Netflix original was canceled. We'll be right back. Marvel fans were disappointed to find out Friday that one of their best Marvel best ne Marvel Netflix originals, Daredevil, had been canceled. This has been the third Marvel Netflix original to end on Netflix. The shows Iron Fist and Luke Cage were canceled earlier this year, while Marvel, Marvel assured the fans that they would see the Marvel superhero crime drama Ran, oh, sorry, the Marvel superhero crime drama ran for three seasons, airing way back in 2015. With the cancellation, however, Marvel assured fans that there will be more in store for the character, saying, quote, we look forward to more adventures with the man without fear, end quote. All right, you guys, what did you think about this Netflix original getting canceled? I know one bit, though. This was Marvel's fourth successful original show on the platform and it's kind of weird that they just canceled it out of the blue we'll start with you jacob what do you think well it's kind of a bad brand move for netflix i feel like netflix is losing a lot of good shows and daredevil's one of them so um they've been kind of in the news lately about canceling shows mm -hmm. and they've been can they've been moving shows around a lot lately with new the new streaming devices it's kind of happening a lot but people are going to start like subscribing to Netflix because they're taking all their shows away. They're not keeping the shows that they didn't even make. They're taking the shows away that they do make and yeah. they're taking a lot off it. No one's going to want to watch things in, on there anymore. Oh my gosh, yeah. Another bad move by Netflix. They took away, they're taking away Friends in January. They're taking off the series. I'm bummed about that. Oh yeah. But I mean, back to this show too. <laughs> I'm kind of indifferent. I, know. I never got into it. Do you remember it. when we covered the first, um, the, we covered yes. the story way back. Did you ever get into Daredevil? I never watched an episode. I'm sorry to break your heart, Kenny. Oh, I'm just saying there's a reason it was canceled. Ooh. There's too many Marvel shows. It's there's too many Marvel things. There's way too I'm many superhero saying. things. I'm over the superheroes. You super can only heroes. have so many oh superhero my gosh. shows. I'm that. That's my face right well, there. Well, I kind of get it, though, because like, you physically can't be a superhero. <laughs> so it's like... It's like uh, you can't relate. Yeah, you can't really relate. It's like, oh, guys flying. We can't fly, nor could we ever fly, <laughs> nor will we, will we ever fly. Yeah. Well, if you're a fan of The Good Place, then you are going to get so forking excited. <laughs> the comedy about the afterlife has been renewed for a fourth season. NBC ordered the fourth season on Tuesday. If you haven't seen this show, then you better catch up. It follows Kristen Bell as Eleanor as she arrives in the afterlife but realizes something isn't right. Season 3 just got done, but you guys, I'm trying to catch up right now and I'm already craving more. What have you seen the good place at all you guys? So I personally have never seen it, but it is on my list as something to watch. Like I am not somebody who spends a lot of time watching movies or TV shows, mm -hmm. so it really has to have an interesting plot to really hook me but this one sounds like it has it and plus it kind of flirts with a topic that a lot of people are curious about because I mean no one really knows what happens in the afterlife so mm -hmm. I think you know it's funny uh, funny um, <laughs> so I'm super excited because I just really like Kristen Bell I think she's amazing I think me her too. and Dak Shepard are amazing I, I think them. everything they make <laughs> is amazing so I'm gonna have to get caught up it's a, I think it's a great show I love how it. far are you I am on season two currently I think I'm around so you know what yeah, I really mm -hmm. like it. I, it was I very too. unique. It was it's different. very unique and, unique, and it took me a while to understand, and then right when that reveal exactly. happens, you're you hooked understand, right you in. Get it. Yeah, for well, sure. Now I want to be. <laughs> so there's a reveal. Got that part. <laughs> well, after the break, find out which artist is the top streamed artist on Spotify.
you a big Drake fan? If so, congratulations, because Drake was named the top streamed artist on Spotify. Drake accomplished this is, accomplishes this goal along with some other Spotify records, including Taylor Swift's Reputation album as the most streamed album and Ariana Grande as the top female streamed artist. Jacob, are you a big Drake fan and are, are you so <laughs> let me, excited? Let me to clear my throat news. for this one, Kenny, because yeah. this is the thing. When Drake drops an album, it's different than anybody else. Taylor Swift drops an album, all the fans get excited. Ariana Grande drops an album, all the fans get excited. Justin Bieber, yeah, the world, you know, maybe slows down a little bit. Drake <laughs> drops an album, the world stops. Every time Drake drops an album, the world stops. January, or er, not January, June 30th, I went to a wedding. That's four days after he dropped his album. Everybody at the wedding. We didn't even, the, the marriage, cool. Everyone's like, do you hear Dra Drake's new album? Do you hear Drake's new album? Do you hear Drake's new album? It's so good. Do you hear this song and this song and this song? Drake stops the world every time he drops an album. He is the most popular R&B artist right now, artist maybe of any kind right now. He stops the world with every album he has. He was all 26 of his songs were 1 through 26 on Spotify when nice. he dropped an album for like three yeah. days. That doesn't mm -hmm. happen to anybody else. Post Malone only had four or five in the top like eight mm -hmm. when he dropped an album. Drake stops the world. And yeah. he has single-handedly made Canada better at music than America with just him and Justin Bieber. This is the thing with Drake. You either love him or you hate him. I'm kind of one that's in the middle. Like there's some songs I listen to and I'll just like dance to mm -hmm. them or like it'll get stuck in my head. I'm not a diehard fan by any means, but I also don't dislike Drake. But I also remember when Scorpion was released this summer, everyone at work was raving it about, about it. It was all they could talk about. So, you know, I'm not surprised that mm -hmm. Drake's gotten this accomplishment. World stopped. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I like Drake. I respect him. I think he's very talented. I don't know every song by heart, but I do know majority of his songs, and I really do yeah. enjoy them. He only drops unreal music. <laughs> he really does. I'm also still shocked that he has a kid when he... Really? Yeah. March, yeah. March 14th. He kid, yeah. His song March 14th is about his kid, wow. and it's kind of a diss at Pusha T and Kanye. Nice. So let's move on to another Spotify story. Were you at Taylor Swift's Reputation Tour this year? Remember when she surprised you with one of her songs from uh, earlier in her career. Well, now you can listen to all the surprise songs Taylor sang on Spotify, oh, sorry, at her concert. You can listen to them on Spotify. Taylor Swift created a Spotify playlist that contains all of her surprise songs. Songs include All Too Well, While the Streams, Red, Our Song, and so much more. You can listen to the playlist with all 46 songs on Spotify now. Madison, I know you went to the concert. I saw her twice this summer. I saw her once in Denver, once in Minneapolis. She sang Teardrops on My Guitar at the Denver concert. I cried. She sang Begin Again at the Minneapolis concert. She's amazing. She can do no wrong. She writes all her own songs. She's written songs for other artists. She's so talented. I love her. I love this playlist. <laughs> she and can do it all. She can do it all. And I'm chiming in because I'm super excited about this topic. And then hearing that All Too Well is also on the track list makes me want to just start bawling my eyes out right here in this chair. <laughs> that is one song from Taylor Swift. Absolutely. She is such a good writer and she can relate so well to people our age. But that song for one, is one song I cannot listen to because I will lose it all. I don't know. She's so talented. Did you I go love to the music. concert? I didn't go to the concert, but the album Reputation okay. also changed my life. It, me too. But it honestly, was so good. Listen, I think they I think they played all, what's the song? All, all Too Well. All Too Well. I think they played that at the Minneapolis one. I would have no? bawled no. my eyes out. I don't mean, not on my night. I forgot. Maybe on your night. Because um, there were two nights, <laughs> Jacob. There were two nights. And I didn't go either one of them. <laughs> also, I would like to say a quick little thing here. <laughs> as much as I love Taylor Swift and as much as she helped define yeah. my young life, her legs are not as nice as Carrie Underwood's. And I know <laughs> you will argue with me on that for days, but I am so upset that you think Taylor Swift is hey, nicer yeah. legs than Carrie Underwood. I'm on that train, but if we're but if we're going to talk about Taylor Swift on Spotify, yeah. it is about time she finally gave her fans something to listen to. Because for a while there, you couldn't get her music anywhere without yes. without paying good money for it, because she did not have any free streaming. Yeah, because she it wasn't on Spotify forever. Mm -hmm. So it's about time I Taylor Swift that accepted that $56 million a year is good enough for her, yeah. and that maybe her fans can listen to it. It's on Apple Music, though. Yeah, but it wasn't on Spotify. Not everyone wants to buy Apple Music. What about the people who don't have iPhones okay, that want right. to listen to her All music? Right. They can't sorry. listen to I'll it on that. I'll what I just said. I and love more. Apple Music. Now it's time to move from uh, <laughs> Spotify to Broadway. Broadway had a big night on Monday due to the opening of the new Share Show. 
The show pays tribute to the singer by going through the singer's life. The musical divides Cher's life in three stages using three different actresses portraying the musician's life. The three different Cher's are titled Babe, Lady, and Star. The crazy opening night was full of stars, including Cher herself. And you guys, Cher actually went up on stage and sang with oh my the gosh. actress who played oh. Star. That's Can you imagine deal. being that actress and just kind of, you know, taking on the role that you signed up for and somebody that maybe she idolizes, maybe yes. that's why she took on the role, hops on the mic. Oh my gosh, that I just envision like me singing a Carrie Underwood song, Carrie Underwood jumping on stage. Yeah. I would lose it. And then Jacob with Drake. <laughs> Yeah, could no. you ima could you imagine being like in the crowd, just chilling? You bought a Broadway ticket, you're like, oh, this is cool, whatever, blah blah. And Cher the goes on stage. Cher gets up there. That's un that'd be unbelievable. You'd be like, free concert. Well, not free. You probably pay good money for it, but you didn't expect Cher to go on stage. That'd be amazing. It would be, and also that's when you know you've made it. When you've yeah. made a name for yourself in a career is when people start making movies or plays about you. Cher's yeah. amazing. She's so talented. Yeah. She can do no wrong, and she'll only can like she looks amazing. I know yeah. she's had. You know, some plastic <laughs> surgery. Yeah, but who hasn't, yeah. right? <laughs> so, guys, if we go to Broadway, we're seeing what? Mean Girls, and then we're seeing Cher? Cher. I'm Absolutely. down. Do a little thank you next you paying? tribute. Are you paying? <laughs> I don't got the money for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we return, find out which show almost got removed from Netflix. Don't go anywhere. Friday, get hyped for Huskies hockey as the women and men both take the ice in a two-day showcase of St. Cloud State hockey. It all starts Friday at 3 on Fox Sports North Plus and continues Saturday on Fox Sports North. The internet went crazy last night due to one iconic show, Friends. Netflix announced on Monday that the show would no longer be streamed on the service with January 1st being the last time fans would be able to watch Joey, Chandler, Phoebe, Monica, Ross, and Rachel. However, with the fan outcry, Netflix posted on Twitter that they would they, that they were giving in to the fans and allowing friends to be streamed all the way through 2019. Kirsten, I know you made the mistake earlier in the show saying that Netflix canceled <laughs> friends, but they're... Not well, where have I been? Now I feel dumb that I said that because, <laughs> I mean, I don't live under a rock. I heard the news yes. that they were canceling it, but no one told me the update. Yeah, I'm in the middle rock. of rewatching the entire series of Friends. I'm in season seven right now, but this still kind of leaves me unsettled. Like, yes, they're allowing fans to still stream it through 2019, but that's the key word, through 2019. Yes. It sounds like they're still going to take it off either way, so that still makes me upset. This is an icon iconic show that should be played for now and mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. And Madison, they spent a hundred. I was just so going much to say, money. I cannot get over how much money they had to spend to keep this show yes. on there. I think it was worth it because obviously Netflix has received a lot of heat for canceling shows, taking movies off that people love, and I think this was a good move on their part. And Friends is an iconic show, like Kirsten mentioned, that everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. They had to do this. They were going to lose so many fans, so many people that would never see the show. They had to do something like this. Unlike Ross and Rachel. We don't want to go on a break, <laughs> yeah. okay? We don't want to go on a break. We don't want to pivot to a new streaming device, okay? We want to keep watching Friends. I watch Friends every night before I go to bed because it makes me go to sleep happy. That's the reason yeah. I watch Friends. That's the reason people love watching That's Friends. The reason you're wearing a turtleneck. That's the re Joey Turbiani is the reason there I'm wearing is. a turtleneck. You have to play Joey if they remake the show. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm not going to put my you know my name out there right now, but Jacob Sersosimo is a decent actor. I'm in an acting class right now, and I can do it. How you doing? Not very well if they take the show off Netflix. Oh, I'm going to be so <laughs> livid if they take the show off Netflix. When I heard about it, I yeah. might have teared up. I don't know. Um, you sure. you don't know. Tears you won't know. Um, it was amazing. Well, I can't wait. We're so glad it's back. And from all of us at E30, that's all we have for you today. I want to thank our panelists for being thank on today. Thank you. No problem, you guys. What a ramped up uh, show this was. Pretty fun. Pretty fiery. Spicy. And we'll see Spicy. you next time on